Hello. If you're watching this video, you have just been recently selected to work at the prestigious company Fritz Nerf. Let me go ahead and congratulate you upon your position. My name is Rocky Conkin, otherwise known as the Personality Herder, also known as Human Resources. This training video is comprised of various situations that you may encounter in the workforce. We will analyze all of them and determine the appropriate response for each. Now keep in mind that this organization represents the utmost culture of which is constructive, achievement and humanitarian. We are assertive and believe we should help all. But we are not passive, defensive, or aggressive. Those things are generally frowned upon in our organization. Now let us proceed. In our first segment, we will explore general situations commonplace in a work environment. Now these situations are overly dramatized, but your responses are extremely real. Here's our first situation. Your co-worker is playing his music just a little too loud. Do you A. Ask him to use his headphones, B. Ignore and out sing, or C. Get mad? If you chose A, you're correct. This is the most pleasant way to ask your co-worker to respect others. Hey, JD. Um, yeah. your music is a little too loud. We're all trying to work. Could you uh, put on your headphones? Sure, I can uh, Sorry. Alright, thank you very much. B is incorrect. Ignoring represents a passive defensive culture and not singing is just plain rude. Yo, I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Yo, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. C is just plain wrong. <laughs> Oftentimes, this is seen as extremely aggressive. Hey, JD, yeah. could you turn your music down? We're trying to do our work here, it's a little too loud. Uh, why? Because this is why! You overhear your co-workers talk smack about you. Do you A. Confront and explain, B. Hold in your anger, or C. Blow up? If you chose A, you're correct. This is the most assertive way to correct your co-workers and clear any cloud of doubt about you. I'd appreciate it if you let me know the problems you have with me in person. That way I can work on it constructively. So thank you for letting me know anyway. If you chose B, you're incorrect. Not only is it seen as passive aggressive, but it's also unhealthy emotionally. is just plain wrong. <coughs> Although bottling up your emotions is unhealthy, releasing them in improper channels could be dangerous for you and others around you. This is my grandmother's aunt, cat's next door neighbor's cousin, half sister's kitchen who's long passed away. A co-worker of yours is sleeping on the job. Do you A. Wake him up and offer coffee, B. Point him out to supervisor, or C. 
play a prank to get him in trouble. Tension between co-workers is never fun. This is a great way to keep him on task and to motivate him. You need some coffee? Thank you. Pointing him out to the supervisor is an elementary school process called tattletelling. I will spare you the explanation of why playing a prank is wrong. Eh.